Hello, 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 people, hello. Can you hear me? Great. So, people can hear me. People can see me, obviously, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, today we do something different because I'm not drawing on paper here in front of me, but I will be drawing here on my Cintiq tablet. going to break it now. <laughs> uh, congratulations to new tattoo. trying to oh what's happening i'm trying to move my window so i can see the chat actually so yeah um welcome to the party <laughs> and somebody on twitter said oh azu if you would do a facial expression tutorial it would be my dream come true so i thought if it's the dream and I can make a life dream come true. I totally will do it. <laughs> so... I hope all of you had a good, good Saturday so far. Are you okay? Is everybody okay? Is everybody feeling great? Let's invite Instagram people over. What's going on with my hair, by the way? I'm sorry, it's like my, my lazy bun. <laughs> Hello, Instagram people! Join my amazing live stream today. Today it will be here on the tablet and I will tell everything about how I do facial expressions. Join us on the party on Twitch TV slash It's too short. People on Instagram should know now that stuff is going on. I mean, uh, don't worry, you can go to the party, Lyric, Lyric, 
um, the name is complicated. Uh, I mean, everything is being recorded, what I'm doing here, and I will upload it later to um, YouTube. But if you, of course, want to ask questions and stuff, then you should stay here. So, um, how do I start? Uh, obviously, if we are doing a face, we should start with a face, um, and I will just just try to draw some some basic face thing. Actually, like back back in the days, in my in my manga uh, fan days, I was always starting faces with the eyes um, and it is maybe easier sometimes, but <clears throat> now I find it more more practical to first draw the whole shape of the face and then plan the all the parts of the face in it because it's easier to plan with the pose and and stuff. Uh, like drawing guides is, is helpful, especially if you want stuff to be symmetric. And I usually like when I draw faces, I first like plan out where the parts of the face will be. So before I start drawing details. And... After I have done that, I can start drawing a more detailed version of the face. I guess maybe it sounds to you like the pen is scratching on the tablet because the microphone is closer to the tablet than it is to me. I guess I mean maybe I should change the tip. Um, maybe maybe I, I just do it. <laughs> So yeah, this is Photoshop, um, the probably the latest version because it's updating automatically when you have Creative Cloud. And um, wait a second, I can change the tablet pen and maybe it will be scratch scratching less. So yeah, you, if, if you have those vacant pants, then the tips of them, they, they get uh, used up at some point and then they sometimes start scratching. Like this tablet is already 10 years old, so I, I don't take care of it that much anymore. Maybe I should more. I mean, it has all the scratches already. I can't take it off. Ha, it works with teeth. Do you hear it? It's still a little bit scratchy. Uh, 
I, I have a newer um, Cintiq version at work, so I have been using it. I mean, I am using it at work, and it's actually it's it's quite nice. I I think like um, the pressure sensitivity is better because this is like the re really very first Cintiq model. But even even so, even if even when it's that old, I still can work with it perfectly fine. So if you have an old one and it's still working, I don't see a reason to buy a new one. What I was would be curious about is the um, um, some synthetics have like a touch a touch um, control as well as the pen control, and I was curious to try it. But on the same um, on another hand, I'm a little bit afraid that I might like it too much, and and then I would not like my tablet at home anymore. And since synthetics are really really expensive, I'm kind of not not really excited to buy a new one before this one goes up in flames and explodes or something like that which i hope will never happen knock on wood <laughs> so what is actually useful about photoshop and drawing with photoshop is that you can correct your mistakes a little bit so now i think her eyes are a little bit unsymmetric and I like using when I'm still in the sketch uh, phase I like to use liquify a bit when I have the feeling something is not really great Yeah, I will try not to get too much into details of how to draw a face. I hope you all, you all kind of... I, I mean, I, you see what I'm doing. I'm trying to draw like a neutral facial expression now. So we can start from there and, and change it up a little bit. But it's actually quite hard for me to draw like a completely neutral facial expression because I rarely do this. Oh no, Nightbot, why are you being so mean? I still I have no control over night, Nightbot, I'm so sorry. I don't know how it works. I will, I will, I will have a look at it and... and What did you do to, to make him angry? By the way, I'm drawing Kohana, the main character from my work in progress comic, Crimson Crush. Crimson Crush. Remember this name. Of course, you could also be saying that I'm draw just drawing myself because there are some similarities. But it's not me. <laughs> okay, apparently a nightbot doesn't really like caps lock. <laughs> oh, 
Um, I don't know yet how I will publish the comic because I mean it doesn't even exist yet. I just started planning the story and to the idea. So now I kind of I I want to first draw some pages and then just see how how people like it and where I want to publish it. So hello Saturn. And um yeah, we'll just see where it ends. I I don't have a plan yet where it will be published in the end but I want I'll try to, to like stay on style and I wanted Kohana to have a little bit more of a squarish shaped face not not that pointy just because I hope that people will like it. I just I, I'm I'm not sure if I'm like a really good storyteller or or, or not. Maybe I just suck. <laughs> I will find out. I, I enjoy drawing the small comics, so I hope it will um, be fun to draw along. I think. I think when, when drawing a face from, from like the frontal perspective it's always like the hardest part to make the eyes more or less symmetric. But on the other hand, people are not really symmetric. So it's always it's it's always good to remember that like when I look into the mirror I realize my eyes are not symmetric at all. So probably it's not that bad when your characters are not perfect. Maybe the eyes are a little bit too round. I like it about Photoshop that you can always kind of go and correct stuff which you are not that happy about. And by the way, when I'm drawing, especially like when I'm sketching, I like to, um, as you can see, I'm switching my brush mode here in the top thing from normal mode where I draw and there is a thing called clear mode where you basically have like the same brush as an eraser. So I made short shortcuts for that and put them on my tablet on the side. And I'm just switching back and forth between between brush and eraser. I think it's it's easier than just than going to the eraser mode all the time. But it's just because I'm used to it.
Congratulations on Käsespätzle. I'm a little bit jealous, but I just ate like a huge bowl of curry that I made myself. And it was really tasty. It was just a lot. A lot. I think the thing with outlines is just you get better when you do them a lot. You just get better by doing it. You have to practice and, and get a little bit like of steadiness in, in your hand. And then it gets easier. Um, the brush I'm using right now, it's like a pencil brush. If, you, if I zoom in, you can see it's like really, um, not, not completely, um, crisp and hard. Um, for outlines, I usually use, have several, like, I, I like some of those, um, Kyle's brushes, which you can download if you search for Kyle's brushes. I think they cost a little bit, uh, but I also have like a super boring handmade inking brush and it is just it is a sharp edge brush, so I use that a lot, um, but I prefer the brushes to have like a little bit of fuzz fuzziness to them, so it looks a little bit more natural in the end. What I really like is this um, pencil line brush. It's on the brush by Steve Ahn and you can download it for free from his Gumroad but I just don't want to, to redistribute it but it's it's free and the thing is it looks kind of really crisp from far and if you zoom in you see that it's a little bit fuzzy and I think if you use that it looks it mixes really well with actually scanned inclines so it it, it looks really natural So we have our base facial expression here and it's like a neutral one more or less. And um, like what I actually always have with me while working is I always have some sort of mirror because Sometimes it's the easiest thing to find out how facial expressions work is to look at yourself and, and sometimes when I have like something where I ask myself, okay, how do I draw, draw like a really angry face and we'll be looking at the mirror and being like... <laughs> and yeah, I'm just... Um, why is there a baby screaming in this song? I'm confused. Um, so yeah, it's helpful. And oh... A lot of animators usually have a mirror next to them, so it's a useful thing. Why is her hair so huge, kind of? Because I, I will have to stare at her for a while, I will try to make her look decent.
I wish somebody would bring me a piece of chocolate now. That's better. There's a little bit of, of big 70s hair situation going on. So what I will actually do is I will create an animation down here so we can go through the facial expressions in the end. So the easiest facial expression changes you can you can do is just like by changing the angle of uh, of the eyebrows you do. So let's just erase them. The eyebrows are a mighty tool in facial expressions. So if we just oh it looks creepy now. Um, if we just change them to something like that. Oh no, I shouldn't. I'm going back. I'm going back. I need another another layer before I destroy everything. Again, erasing the eyebrows, having a creepy alien face. And we're changing them like this. And immediately we have changed the facial expression, although we didn't change that much. We just change the eyebrows. As you can see, neutral corner, a little bit pissed corner. We can of course even emphasize it even more if we if we use like the mouth too. It helps a little bit having the original face here when we have to so So I'm just changing it up a little bit and like giving it the the um, lips a little bit more tension so she's like hmm a little bit more pissed. As you can see comparison. So of course you can make all of this even stronger where this is where it gets interesting. So let's let's try and make her even more angry. So of course you can work with lowering the eyebrows even more. And in general, when you think like about the emotion of anger, when you are angry, all your face kind of pulls itself together and, and stuff. So everything kind of goes to the center of the face. Even if the mouth, when you're like really angry, it kind of gets pulled towards the center of, of the face. So basically like the, the simple version of an angry face or something like that. As you can see, it's all like a lot of lines pointing to the center. So if you try to emphasize how angry she is, she might even squint her eyes a little bit. 
so you have emphasized the face towards like this thing here. I don't know why I chose to start with the angry face first because I'm probably because I don't have chocolate. Yeah, somebody should give me my chocolate. But it's nobody here. Can I do some magic? So when you are tensing your, your face that much, and some wrinkles, of course, sometimes form. See, there's there's some more going on here than it was before. You can also maybe see that I'm making her her um, pupils all smaller because when you're like really angry and you're looking at somebody like focusing. So of course you can even make it even stronger when you when you try to emphasize it a little more and maybe what helps is maybe changing the angle of the face a little bit. Like having her look a little bit more down. She's looking a little more down, facing with the face more pointed down. She, of course, all the other angles change a bit. We're using like all the hair and the head.
What's my favorite chocolate? Um, dark, dark chocolate. I really like dark chocolate. And if we are continuing to talk about chocolate now, I will totally go and get some. So as you, as you probably like noticed with this one, I first sketched like like the most basic things like the eyebrows because they are the most important thing for anger and then the eyes and then I kind of like sketched the nose and the mouth and I, then I started detailing the thing. So this is how, how I usually do and this is also how I try to find like funny facial expressions sometimes. As you can see, the anger intensifies. Dun, dun, dun. Shut up, Dylan. Why do you have to remind me of the most perfect dark chocolate with my academia nuts? I don't have it anymore. It was the perfect chocolate, yes. Um, but I could only find this perfect chocolate I'm talking about at uh zurich airport and i haven't found it anywhere else so if somebody has access to swiss dark chocolate with macadamia nuts if you send it to me i will i will i will pay um if i have tattoos do you mean me yes i do have tattoos <laughs> oh, somebody has a Swiss friend. I also have a Swiss friend, by the way. He said that he is going to Switzerland in in the summer, and I'm like, bring me chocolate. But I, I think I will have to remind him, like, maybe every day, just like, are you thinking about my chocolate? Hi, are you? Are you? Yeah, 99% chocolate is a little bit too much of a good thing. So, because it has like almost no sugar at all, it's just bitter. But I actually have, I, I stopped talking about chocolate. Fuck it. Through this drawing thing, I will just talk about chocolate now. So, some of my favorite, some of my favorite ones are, are those ones by Gipa. Because I was actually searching for for chocolate which is fair traded because I read terrible things on the internet about how how chocolate plantations are. Uh, treating people like shit and stuff and I started feeling bad and I was just searching for fair trade chocolate which is maybe tasty and I found those and they are like super fucking tasty and if you are feeling hardcore you can uh, eat 95% which is almost not sweet or when you are a little less hardcore you can eat 85% they also have lower percentage chocolate but I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm hardcore I'm pretty metal about my chocolate. 
And today I actually found this in my um, um, Budni drugstore and it's it's dark chocolate with cocoa nips and it's so good so good I will eat a piece of it now mm. what were we doing here oh my god this is so tasty it's like really chocolatey and it tastes like vanilla and it has chocolate nips in it Really? Every stream to uh, I'm talking about food? And you know, I, I really like food, so I don't even feel bad about it. Yeah, I hope everybody is grabbing chocolate now, so we can, we can continue the stream just with more chocolate. So now that I had my chocolate, let's let's make our girl here happy again. You know what I will do to make my life easier? separate her face from her head oh my god Hello, Humberto. Uh, you will be la uh, able to watch this video later. Don't worry. I'm recording it. So let's let's see. She had her chocolate and now she is super happy. So of course first she will probably need a smile. Okay, maybe she's not super happy right now, she's just a little happier than before. She needs more chocolate to be super happy. And usually like when you start smiling and this is why I also use like my great mirror here and I look uh, see what I uh, look like but usually when you start smiling you're like pulling your your um, mouth up but also like your your whole face kind of lifts up like everything does a little bit of an upward motion so if you want to emphasize emphasize the smile you should not just um, change the lips but maybe also like give for example the eyebrows a little bit of an upward curve because it's like it's an uplifting mood and everything kind of goes up a little bit
So after all the anger, uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes st uh, stare into the mirror to study my own facial expressions. Or I stare into the mirror to study like my my boobs, for example. <laughs> I'm like. Um, the most useful, useful reference because I always have me around. I don't don't have to force anybody to like. Actually, when I was uh, still living with my family, I was often asking like, "Mom, could you hold this this broom and act like it's a sword? I need somebody to pose for me." So yeah, sometimes I just stand to the mirror and look at my facial expressions. It's a normal thing to do for an artist. Don't judge. So as you can see, our girl here is a little bit more happy than she was here. Look how happy she is. So happy. So so basically, like for a happy face compared to our sad face here, where everything is like pulling to the center of the face, for the happy face is more like, yay, everything goes up. Is now everybody getting drunk in my comment section? Like it was chocolate before and then it suddenly became vodka, Baileys and tequila. What's wrong with you people? We are just having a Saturday chat here. Everybody getting wasted. But actually, serious question. Will Twitch ban me if I like start getting drunk on camera? I like some beers, like there are there are some some good ones, there are some not so good ones. But I, like we get free beer at work, so I like I seen too much beer in my life. But I still like it. <laughs> but somebody is, so, sometimes I just can't can can see it anymore. And also, by the way, sorry, I'm still super I have a lot of snot in me. So if sometimes I do this sexy thing, like. It's because of this knot. I can't handle it. <laughs> Some Twitch streamer got banned because he was talking about sex. Like just 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 talking about having sex or what what did he say? I like talking about sex. <laughs> Maybe not on Twitch no. Um so yeah, let's 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 make her more happy. Are you learning things or are you just watching me talk? <laughs> Craft beers with chocolate. Wow. Oh. I'm like I'm getting a bit distracted from all the drawing because because you're talking about beers and chocolate. So let's see, if we want to, to make the happy expression even stronger, we have of course to like um, stay with, with our... Oh, okay. Um, um, try to, to apply those rules to like making even more um, of the effect. As you can see, like here already I have pulled up her, her eyelids a little bit, the bottom ones, because when you're smiling, like your your my lips are lifting up your cheeks and your cheeks are like going up a little bit and they are uh, going a little bit over your eyes. This is why you have a little bit of this um, slight curve in your bottom eyelids. And of course, if you if you are smiling more, then this gets a little bit stronger. Yeah, 
because your cheek and cheeks are lifted up even more. My butt is vibrating. Let's write it. No, don't worry about distracting me. It's it's fine. Have fun. As long as you are having fun in my comments, everything is nice. And I like to talk about chocolate. Actually, I think smiling people are, are some of the hardest to draw. Like when you're trying to draw like a genuine smile. I always find it hard to, to make it like really look nice and smiling and not not creepy at all. Do you have the same problem sometimes? Sometimes it gets really creepy like ha ah, I want to kill everybody in this room. By the way, I sometimes like to add a little bit of, of asymmetry into my drawings, like for example if somebody smiles, make it not symmetrical but a little bit maybe stronger to one side. Because most people are not completely symmetrical and if you if you especially in more extreme facial expressions it can and can make them look a little bit funnier or a little bit stronger. Also, since she's smile smiling so wide, I'm trying to like lift her cheeks and make them a little bit wider. Don't know if it will look good, we will see. I'm so smart that I copied her face. I think actually this smile turned out quite nice. It's not creepy. So, let's check questions. I think like from the levels of happy that you described, like received a nice compliment happy, saw a doggo happy, ate some dark chocolate with Swiss macadamia, not chocolate happy. I think like this is more like received a compliment happy, maybe like not the best compliment, like just a mediocre compliment and this is a saw a doggo happy. I'm not sure, I think like macadamia chocolate has been like next level, but we can do it. I think what will would change like a real smile to a hate, uh, um, to a fake smile is I will just just copy this one. I think if you if you if you um, remove the um, uh, 
um, remove the changes of the eyes so the eyes are actually like not smiling but but the smile is maybe a little bit a little feels like a little bit too strong Like maybe it's not the fakest smile, but it's not not that not not that nice anymore. Like you you don't trust her as much. Maybe if you even like. So yeah, I think like if, if if the the lips and the eyes don't really don't really match, you get a little bit suspicious of of the um like how how honest the smile is. Like if you compare something like this to something like this, either she's like planning something or she's fake smiling. I mean, we can try to make it even even, even stronger. By the way, for me, drawing facial expression is also just a lot of it is experiment. So I'm I'm not not always it it works out immediately. So let's try and see what can we do. funny how like when you try to draw like a real smile it turns out kind of creepy but when you try to draw a like creepy smile for some reason it doesn't, it's not it's not that creepy We have to pay attention to make the eyebrows not too evil or angry looking because then it, she just becomes like maybe just evil, evil smiling. But fake smiling is a little bit evil, so maybe something like that. With a little bit too much of, of, of a toothy smile. On the other hand, if we take like this, this, the same smile but change her eyes a little bit, eyebrows a little bit heavier. And 
It just looks more honest if you compare this to this. I still prefer something like this when I'm drawing smiles. I think like smiles with teeth are a little hard to, to draw without making the person look like a creep. So I'm still learning that. Maybe also give her a little bit more cheeks. If I'm still in contact with uh, the Dalek people, yes, I have some of my uh, of my friends are still working for the Dalek or have been working for the Dalek recently. Like I still, many friends I have made there are still my friends. So it was a cool time there back then, and everybody was still young and full of dreams, and it was easier to meet people. Like, like now, when you get to a new job, sometimes like many people have kids and families already they never stay later than work and you're like don't really get to know them so i think i would have a lonelier life now if i if it wasn't for the, del the delic time where i met so many good friends who are still my friends right now and now some of them are actually like getting kids and starting families and stuff but since we are already friends it's not that much of a problem as like when you try to meet new people and they are all like have to go home at five because my wife and kids are waiting. <laughs> I'm sorry you missed the happiness description, but you can rewatch it with uh, uh, in the in the recording later. So don't worry, happiness is still there. So many people are following. What's going on? Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome. So, um, we can mo make a little even more happy, like crazy laugh happy maybe. Like as you, as you all know from this happy manga face, the, the, yay face. Like this kind of face, like that you can like do the, the smiley eyes when they are just closed and it usually looks really happy so let's try this with her Actually, I think it's it's it gets uh, like drawings gets easier when you when you learn a little bit to to draw like some simplified version of teeth because then you can make better smile and and angry and and screaming faces. So um, short uh, teeth. Um, side note: what I, what I think is quite easy to imagine teeth like is like having to like 
brows, which look a little bit like this, like you have the top teeth and you have the bottom one. So these are just, just the teeth. They are, would be like this, something like this, if you would draw all of them. But it's usually quite helpful when you have like smiley faces or, or like open mouths, like usually you would just think like about, if you have the smiley face here, you just think about the top teeth, which are quite easy. But you can also just, just add the bottom teeth, which are like a little bit of a curve. And then you almost have like a finished mouth. You can even add the tongue and stuff and then you're done. And it also helps when you have like the mouth in sideways or something like that. You can also help a little bit with the teeth to make the mouth work better. So something like that. So it helps a lot. And and usually don't draw all the single teeth because it kinda looks creepy. Sometimes I like like add some to make it visible that, that it is indeed teeth, but you don't have to draw like every single one. It usually tends to look quite weird. It's a good mouth, we'll just keep it here. Just leave the notes on here, so... So yeah, back to our happy girl here. Because she's opening her mouth, she kind of like has to lift like the top part of the place a little bit and of course probably her her jaw would also be a little bit more open. For the rest, we can take the rest of our face, which we already have. So useful. Sometimes I, I have to try out a little bit with the with the closed eyes. How how high they should be in the face, so it's 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 normal. Don't worry, we all have that. So, any more questions? Also, by the way, if you want to do something which is like more like a kind of like like more of a face of being happy, like deep happiness or pleasure or something and not like laughing then you can also like use closed eyes for it like maybe maybe close them in a more relaxed way like with this upward curve it looks more like yay but but if you draw the eyes like pointing downwards a little bit it looks a little bit more like like deep relaxation
and maybe point the eyebrows up a little bit. Then you get a little bit more of those, oh, I just ate my favorite chocolate kind of thing. Maybe a little bit of a blush. Why can't I draw hair? My hair looks every time like a helmet. Um, I mean, actually, like if you look at her hair, it's it's it could be um plastic Lego hair if if it was not for the lines in, in the middle. Like if you see, wait, I'm just demonstrate it to you. Like if it didn't have like any hair strands in it, it would be just a general shape. So it's it's not a terrible thing when it like looks a little bit like a helmet, but um, it helps adding flowy hair strands into that. And usually when I draw hair, I start with something like like the bangs, something something flowy in the face. So let's just. By the way, I never saved this this file. I should do it. face here and usually when I when I have when I have like a face I usually you, you probably saw it when I was drawing the, the scribble the blue one I draw the whole head shape because because it's better to God, I did a terrible thing. Um, wait, wait. I'll save the situation. So, okay, everything saved. So, like this. So I have the face without without hair, and I usually draw like the basic, like, head shape the way like it is, kinda like not to spending too much time on it. And then you kind of know where the hair is growing from so and usually if you if you look at hair the way it grows is a little bit like grass strands it tries to grow away from the head and then with gravity it gets like pulled down so it does a little bit of this shape so if you want your hair to look soft and flowy you have to to give it a little bit of this lift up from from where the parting of the hair is then it looks like soft and voluminous and then you just draw hair strands of the hair being pulled down by gravity and the most important thing to make your hair look look soft is to use not too many lines but using like really flowy lines like a little bit curved no Thank you. 
So I just noticed that for some reason my 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 stream disconnected. Is it is it back? Am I back? Am I back? Please. Hello, people. Why am I not on? Thank <laughs> you. 